be making this colorful rhinestone bow. I'm going to be using silver plated settings with uh, solder that melts at 300 degrees and a heat gun. Rhinestone placement. Three four stone sections of 28 SS Siam rhinestone chain. Four 13 by 8 citrine pairs. Six 15 by 7 millimeter hyacinth navettes. Four 18 by 9 millimeter peridot navettes. Four 18 by 9 citrine navettes. Two 13 by 8 peridot pairs. Six 18 by 9 sapphire navettes. Four 18 by 9 amethyst navettes. Eight 15 by 7 amethyst navettes. Four 15 by 7 sapphire navettes. Four 13 by 8 cyan pairs. 27 inches of 28 SS cyan rhinestone chain. Be using four 8 millimeter jump rings, two 5 millimeter jump rings, a lobster clasp, and four inches of eight millimeter chain. Use a J board and some dapping tools to make a recess. I'm just going to make a little recess in the center and then I'm going to use the round dapping tool to make a larger piece on each side. And I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. It's not going to be quite big enough so I'm just going to continue to push it down and then slide it over to the edge. Pushing more out to the sides to get it elongated a little bit. Now I'm going to come back in with a small dapping tool and just enlarge this area just a little bit more. I need it to be as long as the bow itself. I've taken my Play-Doh and rolled it out flat and I'm taking a thin layer of Play-Doh and lining the recesses with that. I'm going to start in the center and lay out my rhinestone chain. Once I get the center portion laid out the way that I want, I'm going to start working my way to the outer edges. I want to make sure it's smooth even on both sides and that the placement is pretty much the same on both sides before I start soldering. And it seems to be pretty even and pretty smooth. Uh, if it's a little high on one side I can just push it down a little bit. I'm going to be soldering using a heat gun. Uh, these heat guns only get to about 350 degrees so it takes a little bit of time for the piece to heat up to where it will actually melt the solder but once it gets hot enough then it actually goes pretty fast. I'm done soldering the bow. Before I continue on, I want to make sure that it's completely stable. The piece is stable. 
Uh, before I start adding the jump rings, I'm going to need to put it back in the Play-Doh on top of the J board and make sure that it is secure. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rhinestone chain that will go around the neck. I'm just going to take two pieces that are about six inches long. I'm going to put them side by side. I need this to be an odd number of stones because I'm going to solder at both ends and then on the very center stone I'm going to solder them together. I'm also going to add a jump ring at the end. Now I'm just going to use a piece of clay to brace the jump ring. I'm going to do another one exactly like this for the other side of the neck. I am going to add two jump rings to the back of it. Both jump rings are going to be underneath the small, the 13 by 8 citrine pair. Um, they are going to be uh, perpendicular to the piece and this is just so that I can solder the rhinestone chain to something. I'm using the third hand to hold the jump ring in place. And heat that up. I'm going to put a little bit of Play-Doh on the end to brace the rhinestone chain. And then I'm going to butt the rhinestone chain up against the jump ring and solder it to the jump ring. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Play-Doh underneath that rhinestone chain. This is just to hold it in place so it is soldered where I need it to be soldered. And then I'm going to take a little more Play-Doh and I'm going to brace the jump ring so it doesn't fall while I'm applying heat. I'm going to make sure everything is stable and then I'm going to go ahead and solder the rhinestone chain to the jump ring. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I just need to finish off the ends. I'm 
going to take a 5 millimeter jump ring and attach the lobster clasp to one side. I'm going to take another 5 millimeter jump ring and attach the chain to the other side. The chain is so that the length will be adjustable. Um, the tie could be worn with a shirt where it goes underneath the collar. Or if you have a v-neck or rounded neck shirt, you can wear it uh, just on your neck so you don't have to have the collar. The extra length on the chain will allow you to use it either way. Thank you for watching our soldering video. Stay tuned for more soldering videos.